If you develop web apps or native apps today, then you've got a great opportunity to add AI features to your app. This could help you stand out from the competition as well as make your users more delighted and productive than before. But how much work is this going to be? Will you have to start by spending weeks or months learning about AI programming before you start? Learning about models and prompt engineering, about the OpenAI APIs, semantic kernel, embeddings, vector databases, quantization, RAG? Wow, okay, and after you've learned all that, then of course you implement something and then what? You have to redesign all your existing UIs to fit around the new AI features? Well, maybe, but there's quite a bit of risk, right? You're doing a lot of work and Maybe somewhere along the way you could take a wrong turn and perhaps what you deliver might not be something that your users even wanted. So could there be a better way, a way to deliver this kind of value much more easily and quickly and with less risk to you? Well, that's something we're trying out with smart components and that's an experiment from the .NET team. Each smart component is a pre-built end-to-end AI feature that you can take and use in your application. And the best part is each smart component is a drop-in upgrade to UI elements that you're already using. So you don't have to redesign any of your existing apps. You can just upgrade what you've already got. So let's take a look at that and see if that could be useful to you. Okay, so the first smart component that we're going to look at is called Smart Paste. Here's the situation. You've got some kind of web application with a form in it, like this mailing address example, and there's some sort of business administrator or the other person who works for the company and they fill out this form as part of their job. Maybe they get emails from customers like this saying, please add me to your system. And so they say, okay, Veronica, I'm gonna add you. So they come and they start typing Veronica. It's kind of difficult to type, but they sort of do it. Veronica Ortiz like that, and then they go, oh, this is too much typing. I can't be bothered to do this. I'm gonna copy paste. So they copy Veronica, they get the surname as well, and the phone number. And round about this point, they just completely lose the will to continue. And they think, this is too boring. I can't do it. I'm just gonna to have to quit my job. But then they think, hang on, there's this amazing developer who works for the company. Maybe they can fix it for me. So they come to you and they say, hey, amazing developer, can you make my job not suck? So you think about it and you think, well, maybe I can. Maybe I can use a bit of AI to do all this stuff for you. So you go to your application source code. This is Blazor, uh, but it could be done just as well with MVC or Razor pages. It would work the same. And it's a completely standard form built in a normal way, got nothing to do with smart components, but anywhere in it, we can add our smart paste button. So here we go. I've got my smart paste button and I'm adding it into the form and I'm rebuilding the application. We'll come back and reload that and you'll see now we've got smart paste on there. So what does that button do? Well, it now means that our end user can come and they can copy a whole block of text to their clipboard like this, any text they want. They can come back and they can click on smart paste and what will happen is the system will fill out the whole form for them using AI. So it's looking at the contents of the clipboard, it's looking at the shape of the form, and it's matching the two together intelligently, filling out the entire thing. And it's not limited just to mailing addresses like this. Here's another example. As developers, I'm sure you'll have seen forms like this before uh, for bug tracking with list of projects, summary, repro steps, things like that. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could take a natural language description of a bug like this down here, maybe someone sends that to you by IM or something like that. Wouldn't it be nice if you could copy that to your clipboard, hit a smart paste button here, and what does it do? Well, as you can guess, it fills out the entire form for you. It picks the right drop-down entries, makes a sensible choice about the severity based on the text, uh, makes it a sensible title. It even rephrases what the user wrote into something that's shaped like repro steps. And again, I did not have to do anything to customize this form to make it work like this. The AI or the language model simply interprets the shape of the form and what's in the clipboard and makes sensible choices about how to fill it out. And if it's wrong, well, obviously the user can still make further corrections before they submit it. All right, so that's smart paste. The next smart component that we'll look at is called smart text area. This helps people to type. Here's an example. Now imagine you've got an HR administrator who replies to inquiries from, uh, from employees, obviously. So they come along and they type something about vacations. So your vacation allowance 
is 28 uh, days. Got to type properly, which is difficult, as detailed at, and then they think, oh, I can't remember the URL for the vacation allowance policy. This is so tedious and time consuming. Can't somebody make this better for me? So again, they come to you and they say, hey, my job is just too hard. Nobody could do this. Can you somehow fix it for me? And you think, okay, sure, maybe I can bring in some more AI to make things better for you. And you go and have a look at the application source code and you say, hey, I think I can see what the problem is here. The problem is that you were typing into a boring old text area that does nothing useful to help you type. Let's just swap that out for a nice smart text area. And we can configure that to provide prompts and completions with whatever kind of tone, voice, URLs, policies, email addresses, whatever like that we want, we can configure it. So in this case, I've set it up with this user role, which is HR administrator and I've given examples of phrases that they might want to use, including policies and URLs, email addresses, that kind of thing. All right, so let's see how this behaves now when they start typing. All right, so this time they come along and they type, thanks for, and then it prompts in a sensible way, getting in touch, your vacation allowance. It's, there we go, it, it knows about the policy, about how much you're gonna get. For more info, let's see what it says. Please, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to go to that URL, which we've set up, or email. There we go. That's a lovely message that we can send back to our employee. We didn't have to remember the URLs, it just did it nicely. Okay, now, again, it's not limited to just HR scenarios. You can configure this to sound whatever way you want and to contain whatever information you want. Here's a slightly funny example, just for the sake of showing you how uh, how much you can control it. So here I've set one up to behave as a bookings manager at a Wild West themed restaurant. And I've configured examples of all this silly cowboy speech down at the bottom. So now when they start typing, you want to book, then it's going to make a sensible uh, suggestion to that. How many folks? Yeah, there we go. So it's using the kind of language and tone that we wanted it to use according to how we've configured it. All right. The final example of a smart component that I'm going to show you is Smart Combo Box. Now, you know a regular combo box offers you a drop down with suggestions while you're trying to enter values. And that's great if you know exactly what you're looking for. But if you don't, it's not that helpful. Here's an example. So an expense category. I want to put in an expense report for a plane ticket, but I don't know the name of the category that is used in this accounting system. So I'll start typing plane and I see that the only available options are completely unrelated to what I want. Maybe I'll type a bit less. Is it public transport? I, I don't know if that's the right category or not. So maybe we could make this a bit better for our users. Instead of just matching on substrings, we could do semantic matching matching to provide the most sensible suggestions based on what they mean. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to go to my application and swap that over now. Right, so I've just changed my application to make use of this smart combo box now, which is going to do semantic matching. Now, back in the UI, when I start typing plain again, you'll see it makes sensible suggestions based on semantic matches. In this case, travel is probably the best choice. Um, or I could search for something else like cats. And you'll see, even though there's no substring match at all, it's making sensible choices based on the meaning of what I've typed. It's got reasonably good understanding of our language as well. It's built into the embeddings model that we're using here. So if I was doing it for an issue label, I might have somebody search for mobile and you'll see it's prompting them to choose either Android or iOS. Or if I search for desktop, it's now prompting with Windows or Mac. And I didn't have to write any code as a developer to make this happen. That's just built in to the model that someone else has trained for us. So that is the smart combo box, which you can use as a drop-in replacement for other combo boxes in your app and just make it more intelligent. Why wouldn't you? Right, that's all. So please give it a go. If you use Blazor, MVC or Razor Pages with .NET 6 or later, you can try this out. Just go to this URL that you can see here, aka.ms slash smart components. When you go there, it will give you all the information that you need to get started. Basically, you add a NuGet package to your project. For some of the smart components, you need an OpenAI API key. Some of them you don't. Give it a go. Should be very easy to get started. And please let us know what you think.